Hello everyone, welcome to Epify 11. This is a full stack Laravel and Vue.js uh, application development tutorial series, and it's completely free. And I will try to complete everything. And if you are new to the, uh, new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel because you are going to have, um, watch a lot of uh, cool uh, and important videos if you are uh, if you want to develop your career on web and mobile app de application development. And if you guys have any question, go ahead in our Facebook group, let us know, and I will try to answer, and my team will, will also try to answer as much as possible, as quickly as possible as well. Okay, so let's get started. We will run our project. And one more thing I would like to say. In my previous video, I showed you how we can uh, uh, reuse our um, um, uh, delete model. Uh, in tag page so this tag page has a uh, delete model and this one has been using so correctly and okay so in, in here we we don't have any uh, close so we need to have a close button here uh, that should be a uh, closable by click on click so we have to do that now and then we will be using the same exact model for category as well okay so stick with me guys and hope you will enjoy this video Okay, now it has a large, so let's make a new button and let's make it default, type default and we don't need anything, any kind of long thing, no long thing here. We can say, okay, uh, close. Okay, we don't need to make it disabled or just uh, fine. Okay, so we have a close now. We need to close that. So let's call a function a uh, method close model, and in here, in here, um, we will be closing the model here. So in our store, we have something. Here, okay, let's go ahead. Okay, it's uh, closing. And here, we are actually trying to splice. Um, unnecessarily, this, was, this code was uh, placed just for an example. Perfect, so it's uh, getting closed and we can reopen again. So now here uh, in our category page, we saw how to do the edit things and edit was working. And then now we will uh, need to do this delete things again in the category page, okay? So we will do exactly same how we did for uh, tags. Okay, so let's go ahead and we don't need to see how delete things works because we just have copied now let's go ahead in our category page and then we can simply easily remove this, uh, this portion and that is nice and we have a delete take R uh, here we don't need this one this method anymore show deleting model which is perfect and we will send delete category uh, as URL so simply because this will uh, delete the category that's why so we will uh, access the category instead okay perfect so we are uh, passing this category and then now we will uh, call our store so here we go we are calling our store from here uh, that's fine. So we will be able to see the delete uh, delete model now. That's all we needed to do. Uh, let's see if we have uh, yeah. Everything seems to be correct now. Yeah, you see we have this delete model easily, and uh, here as well. So the same code base is actually everywhere. So now if I do a delete operation, it will not delete simply because we don't have anything uh, uh, like that. So four zero four error should come okay you see uh, 404 error come and we see an error and the model has stopped 
and again as well uh, this is not getting deleted okay so that means everything is super perfect and working so cool okay so we don't have any um, route defined on that so we need to go ahead and uh, make a route actually so let's go ahead and do this we can call delete category okay so what we are going to do is um, we, are go we have to go to the admin controller and uh, actually did it so let's see what data we are passing so we're passing quite some data including the icon image and ID as well so let's go ahead and write a delete function We need to take the request instance and here we need to first of all delete the image so delete from server we need to call that and one problem we have with the delete yeah we are concatenating this one okay so we have to have uh, something like that um, has full part equal false so here I just have to do a logic if uh, So if I don't pass any value here, it will automatically be false. So that is the reason why I have done. So since I, I'm passing here and then I'm not passing anything, but I can pass the false because I have not uh, used this method quite a lot of time. So just used once. Now it's time to use this one one more time and let's go ahead. Okay. so. First, uh, delete the original file from the server. So let's go ahead and call this one. And then what we have is um, we need to pass the image location. So what location we have is icon image. Perfect, right? So we are now deleting the file uh, completely and we are using what we have written here, okay? so good so far now we need to make it delete things and here we have to make sure you are an admin deleting this uh, uh, property okay uh, we will make sure these things using middleware so currently we are just making it open so it's a little bit insecure but still it's uh, uh, good enough okay and let's go ahead and uh, try to do a simple validation if you want but that's uh, not so much required right at the moment and yeah if you want we can uh, do these things as well so let's do some copy pasting task here and yeah go ahead category where i need to delete okay so now this will be uh this will get deleted now and hopefully it will all work so we have we didn't uh, do any work anymore now okay so it was deleted and let's check out one thing and uh, it was not deleted from here so we have some problems i, I think mm, let's go ahead and check out if we okay we don't have any watch property that uh, watch for the changes so what we have to do we have to take the computed property and here as well we need to uh, use the watch so that we uh, we can watch and then we can delete okay so what are the what are the what is the list so we have the category list uh, not the tag so we have to delete it by the index one so hopefully this will be um, good and we have to import uh, map getter so import map getters from Vuex, so it's all good right now. You see how easily I was able to reuse my delete component. OK, 
Okay. You see, it's all gone from here. So it's super, super good. And honestly saying, if you want to reuse this um, uh, upload modal, you will be or upload functionality, you will be able to reuse it as well, okay? Uh, simply because it's not so hard at all to reuse. And let's see, we have uh, one problem here. Icon image. Okay, let's add one more and see what is the problem here if we are having any problem here so i don't think we are having a problem here so let's add let's add one more picture yeah let's add the screenshot view chess okay so here we can see that the picture is full picture and it's not getting reflected here for some reason so let's go ahead and check that out source category yeah it should be working fine simply because we are okay we have multiple uploads here and we don't need that yeah we don't need that multiple uploads so let's go ahead and check out our method. Okay, here we have rest of data and let's check out what we have in the rest of data and we're just uh, pushing it on the top so it should all be fine but and here we are not using any upload things okay First of all, it is not even getting, um, oh no, so it was a problem with the uploads directly. Okay, so it was uploading directly multiple things. So let's check out why it was doing so. When we upload some picture. Here you go, we have uploads here. And then file extension. Okay, let's check it from one by one. So we will uh, see from the uploads of the picture. Okay, so let's see. Here you go. We have the we have the original file name uploaded. So perfect. Now we need to see add category or add tag. So add tag here and request a tag name. Perfect. So that means we are not uh, doing anything. Uh, is it tag? So no, it's category. So add category in here. We're not doing anything uh, here. So that we it must be coming from the front end. So it can be in here. Okay. So handle success, so we are doing, okay, so if res equals uploads. Okay, so something is a little bit messed up with uh, edit upload and upload. So both of these things are using the same methods. That's maybe the reason. Is editing item, so.
okay so <clears throat> i think something is wrong here but let's go ahead and debug this problem and i hope it will be fine completely uh yeah let's see what is the image name right now and then we will be able to know what is the problem okay this kind of problem happens every day so you have to know how to solve them here you go we have the correct image names that's why it's getting shown here uh, which is a good thing and then we are not inside as well so seems all working perfectly it's uh, all seems to be good if we debug uh, in the dev tools then we will see our icon image this one which seems to be uh, cool now i think i found the problem and the problem is we are manipulating the uploads uh, in the icon image so uh, we don't have to do it anymore here simply because we were getting it directly so that could be a reason so let's go ahead and delete this too because we uh, have uh, okay so we have a problem here that's okay I think uh, in and delete component maybe we have not uh, switched off uh, is deleting yeah so we have not switched off the is deleting to to, uh, to false that uh, is a reason that's okay it's a very simple one so yeah you need to know what is going on and once you know it's really simple things uh, uh, Laravel perfect yep it's all working nicely now okay so we have tags and category and then in the next video we will be starting uh the very interesting topics known as um a view editor so we will be using one of the cool uh views editor in our project okay and then we will be adding uh, uh, quite a nice of things which is uh, um blog so we will be editing the blog and editing blog we will be uploading picture as well a lot of cool stuff is going to happen from the next video and after that videos uh, i think we will start with the front end so we are very much close to uh, the end of this uh, series and then yeah no not close we have quite a lot of things to do multi auth maybe we will try to make an editor and the admin and the user as well so in the next video when we will start uh, not next video uh, maybe in a, uh, mm, a two video later when we will show the front end we will be actually connecting both of this admin and the front end all together but they will wo be working separately uh, and also they will have their own views projects and the front end will have its own views project so that's a super simple cool thing you have to keep that in mind uh, if i want i can completely separate my admin um, admin project and then I, ha I can develop a front end project okay but yeah i can uh, make this too but i have to deploy them in, in an admin panel but i will not do that i will try to scheme that and i will show you uh yeah you can do that if you want and i will try to uh, make some customization in the mix so that okay so here these files are for um uh, you can say uh yeah my admin mix okay and so uh admin assets or uh files or whatever it is okay then here we can have a uh, we have default we can have again again uh, a front for front end and then we can uh, link admin and front end completely separately and load them logically based on what route they are trying to uh, access okay so yeah a little bit advanced stuff coming up so uh, if you have not watched the full series go back and watch all of the series so that you understand what's going on and how we can uh, uh, develop little complex application using Laravel. Okay, we never need it. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. And if you are uh, have not joined my Facebook group yet, go ahead and join my Facebook group. And yeah, definitely, if you have any question, just let me know. Thank you for watching.